In this first video, we're going to go over some basics behind TIA Portal. This will include how to open up the software, how to open up a recently used project, and how to navigate within TIA Portal. To begin, I'm going to open up TIA Portal by finding the desktop icon that says TIA Portal V13 and double clicking. Now, alternatively, if it's not in your desktop as a shortcut, you'll find this in your start menu in a folder called Siemens Automation. Now with TIA Portal open, let's discuss that it has two views. Here we are looking at what's called the Portal view. Alternatively, it may be in what's known as the Project view. To get to the Project view, I click on this link in the lower left hand corner that says Project view. And this is the Project view. To get back, you do the same thing in the lower left hand corner. You'll click on the hyperlink that now says Portal view. Now we'll talk about these two views in a second, but first let's open up a recently used project. So to do that, I'm going to go into my portal view here, uh, make sure that I have the uh, start ribbon selected, and then open existing project, and here's going to be a list of all my recently used projects. So I get the project name, the path, and the date that it was changed on. I'm just going to open up one of these by uh, making sure I have that selected, and then clicking open. When the project opens, it will take you to the first steps uh, spot in the uh, portal view, as well as give you this notification saying that the project was open successfully, and then please select the next step. So let's talk about what the portal view is. The portal view is a task-oriented way of accessing uh, the devices in your system. And you do this by the function of them. So if I want to say work on uh, my HMI, I can click on my visualization ribbon. And this will take me to all the screens in my project. Or if I want to do PLC programming, I can click on that ribbon. And that's going to take me to all the code, the PLC code in my project. Or if I wanted to check a diagnostics information on one of my programmable devices, I click on online diagnostics and I can click on one of these devices to get their current status. Now in the portal view, uh, this is just a shortcuts into what's known as the project view. It's the project view where you do uh, all of your engineering and, and make your real changes. So let's jump into the project view and discuss what that is. Uh, to do that again, you're going to click on the hyperlink in the lower left hand corner that says project view. The project view is where you're going to be spending most of your time. And this is because this is where you program, configure, and parameterize all your devices. So let's talk about its navigation. Starting at the top with the menu bar. The menu bar is where you do things at a project level. So for instance, if I go to the project tab, you can see this is where I can create a new project or open an existing one. This is also where I can access my most recently used projects. The menu bar is also where I can customize the view and settings behind TIA Portal. So for instance, if I go to my View tab, this is what I like uh, having selected. I like seeing the project tree, the task card, details view, and inspector window. And we'll go in uh, more details about what these mean in a second. Um, I can also access my settings by going to Options and Settings. And uh, here I have a list of uh, everything I can customize uh, layout wise within TIA portal. One thing I like to do since I use the project view almost all the time is going here under general and start view and selecting uh, always start in the project view. Below the menu bar is where we have icons that represent our most commonly used functions such as creating a new project or opening existing one or saving your current project. This is also where I can do an undo or redo, a download or an upload where I can go online or go offline with a device. So now let's talk about the rest of the project view. In general, the left side is where you find things the right side is where you build things, this central area is where you edit things, and this bottom portion is where you get additional information about things. And I say things because uh, it can be really anything. It can be a device that I'm talking about, it could be a function, it could be a HMI screen or a PLC code or an entire network or hardware configuration. But in general, that is the layout and thought process behind the project view. Now let's go into a little bit more detail about what these windows are. The left, uh, upper left is what's known as the project tree. And this is where I can access any device in my project. 
So over here, you'll see folders for uh, my PLCs, my one HMI, and my one drive. Now I can drill down into a given configurable device and uh, find the functions that are relevant to that one device. So for instance, here on my PLC, I have a block a folder called Program Blocks, and this is where I can, say, open up a PLC program. If I scroll down further, I can also access, say, the tags for my PLC. This is also where I can get information about the local I.O. modules to my PLC, or I can find all the slave devices for that one PLC, all in this project tree. This is also where I can uh, access information for my HMI. So if I click on my HMI folder and say click on the screens folder, you'll see this is where I can access the screens for my HMI. This is also where I can access the tags for my HMI um, and so forth. Also, uh, I have a drive in my project and sure enough, there's a folder for drives. This is where I can parameterize my drives as well. Below the project tree is the details view. The details view allows you to peer into whatever you have selected up here. So for instance, I have HMI tags uh, selected and it shows me the next level under that folder. So if I were to drill down, you'll see that these match. Now if I were to click on say demo case up here, then it's gonna show me all those tags that are within that one HMI tag table. After I found what I wanted to work on in the project tree, I can double click on it and that will populate all the rest of these windows with what's relevant to that object that I selected. So for instance here I have my HMI screen selected and this window here is what's known as the work window. This is where I do the bulk of my editing. So for instance on this HMI screen, if I wanted to move a button, I can just click and drag and drop. Now if I'm on my PLC code, uh, I can also edit my PLC code from this window. So for instance, if I wanted to add another contactor, I could just drag it in. The bottom here is what's known as the inspector window. And this is where I can access information about whatever device I'm currently on. Um, this is also where I can read the properties for that device and edit them. So for instance, uh, with my PLC code selected, I can go to properties and say, change the programming language from ladder to function block diagram. And back again. If I'm on my HMI, I can click here on my HMI screen and adjust the say background color of that HMI. Or if I click on a button, I can adjust the properties of that button. The right side is what's known as our task cards. Now, for instance, here on the HMI, it brought up my toolbox task card, and this is where I can build stuff. So if I wanted to add a new button, I can just click on my button object and drag it over. Now, if I'm on my PLC, you'll notice that these task cards change. So here in the PLC, I don't need to have a toolbox, but I do need to have an instruction list. So here I can go to my instructions task card and add in instructions to my PLC code. So these task cards will change depending on what device I have selected. So here on my PLC code, I have an instructions task card and a testing task card. If I hop over to my HMI, I have my toolbox, animations, and uh, layout and uh, instructions for this HMI. There are two task cards that will remain no matter what device I'm working on. The first one is the tasks task card, and that's where I can do things like find and replace or switch my language. The final one is the libraries task card, and this is where I can contain objects in my project, store it off into what's called a library, and then I can drag it out and reuse it in uh, additional projects. Finally, it's important to note that all these windows can be resized to your liking. Um, if I put my cursor on the border between two windows, I can drag them in and drag them out. I can also collapse an entire side by clicking on the uh, arrow here that says collapse, and 
that will collapse one side and that's available on the left, uh, the bottom, and the right. On my main working area, I can maximize that by double clicking on the title bar or by pressing this maximize button. Another nice feature is the float button. So if I press float, that allows me to float my working window above my project view. What's cool is that I can drag this off into another monitor and that will allow me to work on two things at the same time. I can embed that back in by pressing the embed button. If I want to work on two things at one time and I only have one monitor, I can do this split screen button and I have one for horizontal and for vertical. And again, that will allow me to work on, say, both my PLC and my HMI at the same time. Down below on the uh, working window, we have a zoom. So I can click on this and I can uh, zoom in to a certain area on, say, my HMI or PLC code. I can also zoom out. And that is about it for navigation. Uh, we're going to stop here because as we go throughout this video series, uh, we're going to make heavy use of portals navigation. So you should definitely be a pro at navigating TI portal when this is all done.